So it's another tiny Plymouth locomotive. It was actually a V8 engine and brought in in the 40s for World War II. It's DCC and it crawls pretty well. It's a heavy little thing, although it's pretty tiny. I'll try and keep the focus with this down phone, it's not easy. You can get sound equipped versions. And at the end I'm going to see if I can dub in some real sounds because they were pretty noisy. As you can see it. It crawls pretty well and as it gets closer I'll see if I make it slower still. It's on speed 2. But it's very very smooth. So that's down to 1 speed. Military, of course. I do like my army locomotives. That's pretty good. Look, that's speed one. US ATC. As it goes out of focus, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Again, they do other models, civilian versions, switches. So I've been tidying up my World War One layout a bit. I'm thinking about doing those conversions from the ordinary Nissan Huts to hospital Nissan Huts, but I'm not sure they're quite big enough. But I'm thinking about it. I've also decided to fit sides to the layout because when I'm photographing it, you see the bookcase and things in the background. So I've done that this weekend. I've still got to think out the exits to the layout and if I'm going to kind of cover those a bit more than I have done before. I'm not sure. The other side I've got to do a bit of work around where the road is. I'll probably put an image there of going into the distance and World War One road I've seen that's quite nice. But uh, yeah, I've got to do it. And this is the two new Lucas, uh, Locos I got second hand. So this was came camouflage, but uh, was supposed to be not running, but I managed to get it working. And this is the, I think Wagoneer it's called, but I've, I've got it in a better condition. Both with Backman um, wagons that are kind of part of their collector's club. So this was one that's designed to go with the military train that they did, so, which I've got. And then the other one is um, one that's currently available in the, the Collector's Club. Is this munitions wagon? I may get some more of those, I quite like them, they're well made. And both locomotives now have had a bit of a service with some oil and cleaning work pretty good. They're both really cheap.
The next bit I made a bit of a cock up. It doesn't work out quite so well. I tried to put the gladiator gun and it just won't go around the corners. So it's going to stop very abruptly shortly. But hey ho. I'll try on the next one. So I'm working on the new layout now. So I'm going to be doing World War II, the Melbourne Military Railway, which went between Chelliston, Derby, to all the way to Ashby. It's about just over 10 miles, I think, in total. So I've got all the gear together and I've been researching for quite some time. Um, Americans, Canadians and um, British were trained there. And this is the plan I'm probably doing. It's six foot by two foot, it includes the river. So I'm including features rather than an exact detail because it's just too big. So it had the river there, it had pontoon bridges, it had kind of wire metal bridges, it had a loading ramp near it to Ashby, it had the Ashby tunnel. So I want to include some of those features on it. So that's what it's got all that's got about eight junctions. This is the real uh, junction. So the bit I'm doing just before the river is known as Kings Newton near Melbourne. And they built a camp for the troops, which is still there actually, um, just over the other side of the Trent. This is some of the American locos. Uh, and I've actually got one of these that I'm going to do. And uh, what I got the wood. And pretty much everything's in boxes, waiting to have some time. So I'm going to book a few days off work and try and get started with it soon. Eight foot by two foot with two two foot extensions for off the layout. That's it. Bye for now.